your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? What do you remember? See what looks like tall trees. It looks like tall trees. Describe these trees for me. What kind are they? Like tall, tall pine trees that reach up to the sky. Very good. And as you look at these pine trees, from what place are you observing these pine trees? Down below. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this place. Look around you as you look around below these pine trees. What do you feel? Mm. I just see a lot of forest. Mm -hmm. Is this daytime or nighttime in the forest? What does it feel like? It feels like daytime. Mm -hmm. And feel the temperature in this forest. What does it feel like? It feels cool. Mm -hmm. Very good. As you observe these woods, do you feel that you have a body there? can't tell. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet, see if you see anything. What do you feel? Use all of your senses. Do you have a physical body? It doesn't feel. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel. Like a body. Mm -hmm. So trust your impression. What does it feel like? Who is this observer? Are you energy? Or are you physical? I'm, I'm not sure, but when I look down, I look like webbed feet. Mm -hmm. Webbed feet. Very good. So use all of your senses now to acclimate yourself into this body with these webbed feet and see what else you feel. Imagine yourself touching that body. What does this body feel like with the feet? It feels reptilian. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's use your inner eyes and let's take a look at your body. Beginning with the feet. Describe these feet for me. Similar to a duck, just webbed. Mm -hmm. What color? Green or gray. Mm -hmm. Keep going up. Let's see your legs. What do they look like? Almost like a frog, frog's legs. Mm -hmm. Frog's legs. What else do you experience there? What does the torso look like? Mm. I don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like a frog torso, but almost like a like a human torso. Mm, like a human torso. Take a look at your hands. What do you see? I see webbed hands. Mm -hmm. What color are they? Same color as my feet. Mm -hmm. They look like kind of a gray, bluish gray. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see what your head looks like. Kind of looks like a reptile head. Mm -hmm. What kind of shape are the eyes in? Big round. Mm -hmm. Look at your mouth and your nose. Yeah, 
Yeah, so kind of looks like a reptile's head. Mm -hmm. Same kind of nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. Anything else about this body? Take a look behind you. Could be a tail. Mm -hmm. Move around a little bit and see. What do you feel? It feels like a tail. Mm -hmm. Is it a long tail or a short tail? It feels like a long tail. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm standing up. Mm -hmm. Do you feel male or female? I feel male. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Young or old? I can't tell. I don't feel old. Mm -hmm. I don't feel real young either. Mm -hmm. How does your body feel? Do you feel strong? Or how does it feel? I can't gain a, gain a sense of it. It's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. Mm -hmm. So, now that we understand what you look like, Let's find out what it is that you're doing in this forest. By a stream. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe it. Mm -hmm. It's a, almost like a river. It's wide. There's, there's a bank on the other side. Mm -hmm. And as you're by this river, do you see any others with you? Or are you by yourself? Well, I think I see others like me in the distance. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine this place is where you are? Is this where you live? Could be. It's mm -hmm. not like... It's not like a... a human habitation with houses and mm -hmm. things like that. It's just I see other others like me across the stream. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close the scene and let's go now to the place where you spend time, where you may call your home. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead, your third eye, and you'll see where it is that you spend most of your time. Taking a deep breath in now. Three, two, and one. Be there now. What do you experience? I feel like there's a... I don't know... A, a hole, hole on the side of the river. Mm -hmm. Like a cocoon, like where something would live. I don't know if that's where I live, but... Well, let's take a look. Go towards that cocoon. How does it feel? Just, it just feels empty. Mm -hmm. Is this a place where you would go? Maybe it looks like eggs in there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see. Get closer. Connect with that and you'll know what they are. Are these your eggs? No, I don't feel like they're mine. Mm -hmm. They just look like eggs. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else around this place? Look around. What else do you see and experience? I don't see anything else. All right, so we're going to close the scene. Close the scene, and now let's go to the next significant scene in that same lifetime. Something that impacts your life. Be there now. Where are you? I'm still in the forest. Mm hmm. Tell me more. What's happening today in the forest? 
just kind of wandering around. Mm -hmm. I'm just wandering, wandering, wandering. Mm -hmm. Not really doing anything, just walking around. Mm -hmm. And as you're wandering, are you walking upright? Yeah, I feel like I am. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your hands, see if you're carrying anything. No. No. So let's see where it is that you go when you go into the forest. I'd like for you to go to your destination of the place where you usually go when you wander. Be there now. What do you experience? Hmm. Looks just look like a clearing. A clearing. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't see anything else around me, just a clearing. Mm -hmm. It looks like a campfire. A campfire. Who do you imagine uses that campfire? Hmm. I don't get a sense of anything. Mm -hmm. I just see a clearing with a campfire. Mm -hmm. So I want you now to focus on your feelings when you're in this place. What does this clearing feel like to you? No, it just, just there. It doesn't have any mm -hmm. attachment or anything. It just. It's not like I feel this is home. It's just I've wandered upon it. Okay. So let's close that scene. And let's move forward to another important scene in that same lifetime when something is happening. Be there now. What do you see in your mind's eye? I see me with other... Others like me. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Over by some rocks. We're all gathering. I don't know why. We're just... There's just more of me around there. Mm -hmm. So as you're focused on this scene, I'd like for you to connect with the others. You're going to be speaking telepathically, so it's your thoughts that will be telling you why it is that you're gathered here today. Is there an importance of this event? Their thoughts will be yours. Get the gist of it. Is it for friendship? Is it for a purpose? I just feel like we're just gathered there. I don't feel mm -hmm. I don't feel a purpose. Okay. It's just a place to be together. Yeah. Mm hmm Do you feel any connection with any of them? No, not really. Mm hmm You just exist among them? I exist. Okay. Very good. So let's close that scene. Close that scene and we're going to now go to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening allow yourself to drift and flow to that sea and be there now what do you experience where are you I'm just not really anywhere. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like I've gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. Are you still in the gathering? I'm trying to get away from the gathering to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's happening at that gathering if you're still there. I'd like for you to just watch that gathering and tell me what happens. Let's see if there's anything that happens at this gathering. What happens next? Look around and let's see how many are gathered with you. How many are there? let see a handful. Mm -hmm. 
and as you are connected with these gathered here together do you feel any type of kinship with them i just feel like they're we're all the same i don't feel connection no connection no kinship mm -hmm. so do you feel neutral about them yes very good so let's close this scene now and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime allow yourself to be on the last day tell me where you are I feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I just feel like I fell. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it was an accident? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fell off a steep, steep, steep cliff mm -hmm. way down below on rocks. So take your last breath and detach yourself from that body leaving that body behind. And as you look back at that lifetime, all lifetimes have a purpose and a lesson. What do you imagine the purpose of that lifetime was? Uh, I felt very alone. Mm -hmm. Didn't feel any connection to anyone else, any of the others. I just was by myself. What do you imagine you learned about that? I'm not sure. I don't feel sorrow. I just I don't know if I fell because it was my my mistake or mm -hmm. I think things would have been different if I was with them. It just was. Mm -hmm. It was just because it was. It wasn't the connection. There was no connection. There was no connection with the others. Mm -hmm. It's an existence. So. Let's find out what that lifetime has to do with the lifetime of Stuart. He's very alone. Mm -hmm. What can he learn from that? He isolates himself. Mm -hmm. He doesn't allow others to get close to him. How is it affecting him? He lives with it. Mm -hmm. Rather not get hurt. He's living like that reptile, isn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just existing. Yes. So what is that doing to Stuart? Makes him feel very alone, very separated. So, what would you like to tell him about that? Don't be afraid. Let's open up your heart. Don't be afraid of hurt. Mm -hmm. It's okay to love. See the images in your mind. Where are these souls from? Dark, dark, far, far away, dark. Mm -hmm. Keep seeing it in your mind. I'm going to put my hand over your third eye and let's release all of that blockage. See yourself now going to your home, going back to where you know each other. Allow the images to come. See where it is. Allow the images to come. Open it up. Look around you. 
See how you're connected. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? It's, a, it's like a place where oh, it's almost like these tall pods. It's mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, explain them like mushrooms. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I just feel a unit of. Uh, I don't know if I'm a mushroom like that, but I just feel mm -hmm. connectivity with this group. This. I don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. It's someplace. Someplace. Someplace I can't relate to. I just see. Mm -hmm. Describe it. Well, what I'm looking at is these colors again. Mm -hmm. Colors more yellows and reds and blues. And things. Look up and I see dark. And I see lots of stars. I feel light, feel light, like light, light, mm -hmm. not color light. I mean, it's not bright. Mm -hmm. I don't see. So go within and just know. Know where you are. What is this place? What do you call it? See the word pop up. Say the word serious. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to see where you are. Zoom in. Is this a physical place where you are? Or an energetic place or dimension? It almost feels both. It's, mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel a tangible body like three-dimensional, but I feel Almost like I see the image of it's like the, the story, you know, the Grinch stole Christmas. Mm -hmm. You look down on Whoville, mm -hmm. you know, I see this similar, similar, like little, I don't know, groups of beings. And I mm -hmm. can't, I can't really describe what they look like. They're kind of seem far away. All but, right, zoom in. You have the power to zoom in. Zoom in closer. Describe to me what you're experiencing. I see a <laughs> see a head with kind of a slender body, but mm -hmm. kind of a big. Not big round, almost like pointed, with big eyes, big eyelashes, very, very oh, peaceful being, not too many mm -hmm. discernible features, smooth, smooth, if you call it skin, almost a texture, if you want to call it almost like a rubber, mm -hmm. but it's... Uh, it's almost like that little Geico guy on the commercial. Mm -hmm. What do I see? I see the, the, head, the longer bodies. Can't tell how tall, but on the, on the heads, the most prominent are the eyes. Gentle eyes. Gentle eyes. Like eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Kind, big eyes, big eyes, but kind, not scary. Mm -hmm. So as you get closer and closer, you can connect telepathically. Are these your people? Or are you just visiting? I don't 
Look at yourself. I, I, I can see my hand like theirs. Mm -hmm. I can't. I feel a little bit more connection with them. I just don't know if this is home. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'd like for you to ask them, is this home? This is home. It'll be instant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said yes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed yes, but it was... This is it. All right, so let's find out more about your home. Allow yourself to see this place even more. Let's see. I see water. Mm -hmm. I see like ponds. I see lots of colors. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors. Again, it's like, like if you were to look at a mushroom, forest of mushrooms, it's just soft. No hard, mm -hmm. no hard angles. Soft, rounded textures and like a pond, mm -hmm. a pond, maybe waterfall. It's funky looking trees, but they're not trees here on earth almost mm -hmm. look like big mushroom trees mm -hmm. I don't know what they do I just what's what I see mm -hmm. um, let's go to your family allow yourself now to see your family be there now The experience. I guess I see. I see other couple, not many. Mm -hmm. One, maybe two others like me. One smaller. I can't say if it's a child. Mm -hmm. But I see another like me. The same one I saw when I first mm -hmm. got the image. And I see another. Another. Connect with them telepathically and ask of the one of them who they are. How are they connected to you? The answer will come into your mind instantly. So we're all connected. Mm -hmm. This is this is who we are. This is no separation. Yes. Mm, very good. But this little cluster, this little cluster of beings, mm -hmm. this, is, this is my... How do they feel to you? Almost like we're... Almost like we are physically connected, if there is a physical sense to it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like we interchange with one another as one, but we're independent mm -hmm. as, uh, as our own experience, but we're all, we're, we're our own little group. Mm -hmm. And I always see two, I always see, see the one that's about my size, another one that's not quite my size, but. Let's find out if any of those in your family are connected into Stuart's life now. Feel them. You'll recognize the soul. They seem familiar. I feel the one that's my size is my mom. Mm -hmm. Just feel it. Mm -hmm. Just feel the same energy. So let's find out why it is that both of you from this place were called to the earth at the same time, to be in the same family. Where did that call come from? God. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we got a call or if we volunteered. Mm -hmm. Well, we needed to, I don't know, maybe help 
about. Mm-hmm. What's going on with the earth that needs help? It's... It's a lot of chaos. Mm-hmm. It's like... Too much, too much uh, separation, too much, too much lack of connectivity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, like being people being lost in a maze. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, It's like, I feel they just need help. So what is it that the soul volunteered for on Earth? I feel we we volunteered and to, just to, almost to help in any way we could, but we we came into this unit, this family unit. Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically, my mother and myself. Mm-hmm. And the the other one, the little other third one that was little little guy. I'm not sure if he's he she's still there, but I feel more of a connection with this one mm-hmm. counterpart. Mm-hmm. And I feel I feel almost like drawn into her. Mm-hmm. It's like Is this your soulmate? Could be. Mm-hmm. So feel her soul and see if you recognize the soul. I feel a connection. Mm-hmm. I feel a love. Mm-hmm. I feel like a partnership. duo. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. Very good. Is there anything that this partner tells you? (sighs) She just tells me you did it. Mm -hmm. We did it. You work together. Yeah, we work together. Mm Mm-hmm. We're a team. Mission accomplished. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you now to disconnect, completely disconnect from that place, bringing yourself back. And let's find out how Stuart will reach the new earth. What advice would you like to give him? You've done what you've done, what you had to do. Keep your vib- vibration, keep your vibration high. Block out all the negativity. You're there. You how, can, look, how can you distinguish it? You'll feel it. Mm-hmm. You're still dipping your toes in the older too often. It's okay to break away. You don't need it. You don't need to be there. Don't be afraid anymore. Don't be afraid to let go. You've always been afraid to let go. Everything with you and this earth was a fear of letting go. Just... It's okay. You've done what you had to do. Now do it for you. So the courage to let go and don't look back. Just focus. Focus on the positive. Don't be drawn back to the negative. The negative is what you're trying to cure. 
you cured what you had to here. Help others. Help others be positive. By an example, by showing them what good is good people can do here. Share the knowledge. Share your share your lack of judgment. Show them that there is no difference. Show them there is no difference in people. No matter where you came from. No matter what you look like. No matter what your history. We're all from somewhere else. Nobody is from here. Mm -hmm. So many people just don't get that. It's a bad part of this experiment. It just too much mental independence. People don't know how to take this step. People need to trust when it's it's okay to be happy. When you you don't need stuff. Stuff is for 3D, it's for this world. It's stuff keeps you alive in the three dimension. It's the food that keeps you alive. It's the house that keeps you dry. It's just stupid ass guns that keep you safe. <sighs> Drop that shit. Just Stuart needs to show. Don't be judgmental. Stuart needs to show. He can do that. He connects with people. He's got a connection ability. He can he can size people up real quick and be their friend real quick. He's he doesn't judge. And he sees people's weakness. The vulnerabilities, it's not a bad thing. He understands where they're hurting. He can feel where or they might even not like him. And he, he empathizes. That was his dad's father's problem. He empathized, but he didn't know how to use it. Stuart empathizes. He just has to learn how to use the empathy. He, he needs to heal people. He needs to, he needs to, he needs to move physically. He knows that. When he moves, and that's why he's antsy now. He just can't sit still. He knows his calling is not here, here where he lives, meaning he needs to move. He needs to start the second part of his life. He knows what that journey is. He's already been told. He already feels it. You know, just drop the fear, Stuart. Drop the fear of change. It's a problem you've always had your whole life. Is that you fear change. You're afraid to get out of your comfort zone. There's nothing to fear anymore. And when you when you move out of that comfort zone and you move to where you need to be physically, you will connect with people because you'll feel it. You'll feel the happiness it brings to you. And you'll feel the, the, the joy in return because you can feel joy. That's your, that's your empathic, empathic side as you know when it's real. You know when somebody's hurting. And you can find a way to, to make that hurting person just feel a little bit better. If not by words, by example. And they'll know you're not judging. And they'll, they'll appreciate you for just for who you are. Because they don't care about who you are or what you do. They'll just feel from you how you can make them feel when you when you make somebody feel good. Whether it's having a bad day, grocery store, somebody cuts you off, and it just takes that one person to show to show kindness just for a second. It can change your vibration, it can change your feeling, it can change, it change your day, it changes how you, how you spend the rest of your day. That one little drop that you plant in that pool of water with somebody can just be the one drop at one time. It helps them. 
helps them change how they see, how they look at the world, how to stop judging, how to feel, stop feeling negative, how to accept people, how to love themselves. And maybe they'll start doing the same for others. So, Stuart, you be the you be the teacher. You don't have to stand up in front of a class and instruct. You teach by example, by kindness. And you show them that things will not let you get you down. Someone mean and angry, you know, feel bad for them. You don't have to show them pity. That's just what they're going through, but don't take it personally. And every time you take a step away from that negativity of trying to keep that in like your grandfather did and your father did, you, you build up the Teflon just to keep that crap out of your life. And you'll feel yourself just getting stronger and stronger and stronger and brighter. so much about your money and being afraid to run out of money. Jesus, boy, just let it go. It's so sad. It's, it's an earthly tie. Let it go. It's a safety net. You don't need a safety net. If you trust if you trust, if you trust, you will get what you need. Put your intention out there. You get back what you give. When you put fear out there, fear of moving, fear of money, fear of whatever, Take a step back. Don't be one step forward, two steps back. You're moving. You're getting better every day. You feel it. You know it. You feel it. You feel yourself change. You feel it. That's why you're here. You did what you had to do. Boom. You're done. It's over. Let go of that fear and sorrow of what you went through earlier. It's time to enjoy your life. <sighs> Wish I could slap you around, but you gotta do it yourself. <sighs> That's what people need to do. They need to just learn to take control and trust. And there are people, <sighs> there are people finding the way out there. There are others that are showing the journey, like you, Olba, and others, Danielle, <sighs> that are opening up the world. A little bit at a time. It's, it's about well, the one good thing of the, the internet. It's so can be so poisonous at times. It's just it just harbors so much hate and vileness. It's just but there is good. There is good everywhere. If you look for it, you have to look for it. You have to know where to look. Because if you if you put your intention out there, it will come. You will find it. You will stumble across it if it's something on the internet, if it's something in the, even in the news, if it's your next door neighbor, if it's somebody saying a kind thing to you, it's somebody pointing you in the right direction because you don't know where to go. It'll plant a seed, whether it's that video, that's something that you read, something something said to you. It just there are people, there are people on the front lines out there, out there, out there helping spread the word to change, to change all this craziness going on in this earth. It's just lost its way. So many people just running around like crazy people, just ugh, sorrow. It's easy to feel bad for them because they're looking for hope. They just don't want to, this negativity that's out there is sucking them down. It's so easy. It's like a drug. It just feels so, People, some stupid reason, feel <sighs> comforted by the sorrow and the hatred. God, it makes no sense. It's like they're afraid to open up to something different. 
they find companionship in the sorrow and the hatred, and they're afraid to leave it. They're afraid to be that one person that steps out in the light and opens the door and sees the sun. If they saw the sun, they could turn around and shut that door and they would stay out in the sun and they would see other people out in the sun. And they just feel like they want to call out to those still behind that door. But they know they have to find their own way. But people like you, Alba, you go through the door. Other people go through the door. And you show them the door. You show them that there is a way out to a better place, really. A place that has peace. There is no hatred is made up. War is, is made up. People war for the stupidest, stupidest reasons. It just fuels it for whatever reasons. It just feeds something else that's just not from here. It feeds, it feeds, feeds others that, that live off of this fear. And if it's, my God, when you step out into the light, it's like, what took so long? It's, there is, that's what, that's what Stuart feared was change, and that's why he, he feared stepping out into the light. His whole life was fear, fear, fear. Even something so obvious, stepping into happiness, stepping into love. If you trip, you find your trip, you get up, and guess what? There's a lot more than skin in your knee in this world. You don't skin your knee. You just, it's just, why bother? Why bother walking if you're afraid to fall down? But when you, when you stand up, you realize, I didn't skin my knee. It's fine. It's beautiful out here. You don't turn around and run back inside. You got to go back and help others. Help others. Help others in whatever way you can. Be kind. Smile. Make them feel good about themselves. They will, they will turn on their own light. They'll raise their own vibration as they do that. As they turn on their own light, they will they will spread that to others in their family, in their circle, in their community, at their work. They'll just do it with a kind word, a kind gesture. They will tell people in their own ways. They'll turn off the goddamn TV. Turn off all that goddamn hate. It's just horrible, horrible how people get sucked into that. The world's not going to end. It's not going to end. People are made to believe the world is going to end. It is not going to end. It's an illusion. The world is an illusion. You were sent here to learn. To, to learn to be yourself, to experience the joys and to sorrows. More importantly, you were, you were put on this earth to, to learn to help others. That's what love is. Love isn't how you feel about yourself. It's how you feel about others. It's, it's, you feel it every time you make a child happy or take in a stray animal. You feel the love back. And that's what feels, fills your heart. It's not money. So, People are put on this earth to feel the sorrow, because without sorrow, you can't feel what it's like to be rescued. You can't really feel what it's like to know what love is if you never had it. But when you give back something to somebody who's not had something or has not felt it enough, you in fact will feel you will feel back what they feel at that moment. Because when you yourself have had those moments of joy, whether it be small or big, whether it be a true love or a smile somebody put on your face, and you know that one moment or that long moment of time where you felt happy, you felt peaceful, you felt blissful, you felt, 
I don't want this to end that kind of moment. But being human, you always know the other shoe's going to drop. The shoe drops if you want it to drop. Again, remember, if you fall down and skin your knee, it's not the other shoe dropping. It's just you fell down. That's what life is. Life is stuff. Okay? But you always got to remember to pick yourself up and stop looking over your shoulder saying, that's the way I thought it was going to be. It stinks. It's horrible. It's hard. No, it's not. You just think it is. You were programmed to think it's hard. It is not hard. It is very easy, but too, too few people give give themselves up to light and to love. It just it's easy to be comforted by others who want to give you negative thoughts. There's not enough people wanting to give positive thoughts and show the reward for it. Because here on this earth, the rewards are, are so tangible. They're, you feel it. You feel the money in your fingers. You feel the sex. You feel the drug in your veins. And people want to give that to you because that's what satisfies your body. It doesn't satisfy your soul. It doesn't satisfy your your spirit. It's just... It's an illusion. You know, it's part of the experience, but you have to learn to start letting go. That's what growing means. And if you don't learn it here, you're going to learn it again and again and again. Trust me. That's what karma is called. You have to learn these lessons. Take your steps. Even if to be small at time, even if you have to return again, you're going to learn slowly, but you will learn. And when you learn to start letting go of what's here, this, this illusion, it's just an illusion. It's an illusion. It was an illusion to keep you, to give you independence, to create scenarios in your, in your 3D world to learn from. And you created those scenarios to learn, wow, this hurts and this feels good. And this hurts more and this feels even better. But along the way, with everybody being separated, it's easy to get drawn into the external forces. It's easy. Addiction is easy. Physical and mental addictions. It's sad. That's what's gone wrong here. Just the too much independence has led to too much independence. People are now, beings are now being brought in to help help kickstart, help get people a boot in the butt just to take the step on their own so they can enjoy this existence but move forward, fall down, make your mistakes but know that there is something better don't look behind you and say I gotta go back there because that's what everybody's telling me life is really like that's why thankfully there are more light workers, more people coming down to help show the way, to show the way people like Alba, people like Danielle, others out there spreading the word. I don't mean a religious word, I mean the truth, the, sp the metaphysical, spiritual, the, the soul, the God source truth of what we are. We are not guns, we are not drugs, we are not money, we are not big homes and small homes, we are not poor people, we are not different colors, hateful people. That's not who we are. We chose these existences to learn a lesson. Even if somebody is hateful, that is what they needed to learn. And you have to understand if you come across somebody going through that, that is their experience. It is not your experience. So don't turn your progress into a negative by by letting somebody else's experience affect you. This world, this climate we're in now, it's all happening for a reason. It's getting people woke. It's getting people woke to be more engaged with one another, the community to be more connected spiritually because people are being pushed farther, farther, farther down into despair like I was. And despair is a crappy place to be. That's where people are right now in this world right now. They're just feeling more and more desperate because they think things are getting worse. Things are happening for a reason. Two things are happening. People are, people are coming to this existence to help to help 
show the light. Just sh they're just showing you the door. They're not dragging you across the door. You still make your own choices. But other people are here, as strange as it may seem, <sighs> to make the despair more desperable. To kick people in the butt. People need to get off their existence of just existing. We're here more just to breathe, more than just to breathe. And if it means bad things happening in the short term, then so be it. The bad thing that happens in the short term is here for a reason. Oh, don't look at it and say, this is the end. It is not. This is the beginning. This is the start of the beginning. This is, this is happening for a reason. Everything is happening for a reason. And everybody will get there. Everybody will get there at their own time, at their own pace. It may not be this lifetime for them. This, this human lifetime, but they will come back in this human lifetime and they will slowly progress. But nobody, oh, but nobody ever, 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 ever gets left behind, ever. And you can, you can progress at your own pace. But if people are telling you, showing you the door, just to let down your guard, just to see what the door looks like, see what the opening the door looks like, open your mind, let go of your, your old fears and your own thoughts of no that's wrong that's that's bad no it's not it's nothing you created it this is this is all this is all an illusion everything you see has been created by you to go through an experience you created by you so you can have specific experiences in this point and moment in time whether it be good or bad just remember that you are you are you, but you are connected, and we're just trying to get everybody connected again. And the next step is to go to the next level of vibration. We could still be separate, but we will feel it on a different level. We will feel joy, we will feel happiness, we won't feel anger with guns and war and hate. It won't be that way. Oh, people will be healthy. People, things will be... It'll, it'll be the next step of progression. It, it'll be taking us from total independence to more of independence, but with love and kindness and helping one another the way we were supposed to be when we came down here originally. That went, that went awry. That went awry years and years and years ago for too many reasons to mention it was just an experiment gone bad gone wrong not bad is still way more good than bad in this world so don't believe don't believe because of something you see on tv or read and uh, you read in a magazine or a newspaper that the, everything's going to going to hell in a handbasket that's not true there is so much more good so much more good out there than bad we just need people to start walking to the door. And some people to open the door and more people to cross through the door. And like a tidal wave, like rushing water is gonna go through the door and it's gonna break open the door and it's gonna bust through the door and there won't be a door anymore. And everybody that's still on the other side will see, they'll see. I don't have to be over here. This is not for me. It is so much happier being over there. So this is, this is like the first wave. This is like the first wave of people making the step through the door. Some people have already gone through the door. Some people are spreading the word that, that you can be happy all the time. It's not nothing wrong with being happy all the time. All it does, is, all you have to do is shut out the negative. The negative is there to distract. It's keeping other people in. It's sucking other people in that want to stay here, that don't know any better. <sighs> but once you get more and more through the door and you see the light, and you realize, man, that place back there sucks. <laughs> I like the light. It's warm out here. It's, it's good. So, Stuart, you just need to... Stuart, you just need to, you're out there. You know it's there. You feel it in your heart. 
you still want to put your toes back in the third dimension negativity world because it's too tempting it's the drug it's to always flip open a stupid iPad and check on the news and it's like a sports game to see who's gonna win and who's gonna lose it's not about winning and losing it's about getting to the end of the game and you go at your pace and you know what your pace is you've been told what your game plan is stop stop being distracted enjoy the rest of your life here you already know your your journey you've been told more than once what your journey is trust it stop questioning it trust it and when you get there to that new place your world will open up and you will be completely on the other side you won't care about material things you won't care about money and houses and stuff because you're going to fill your heart that's what it's supposed to be about and you'll be helping other people you'll be helping animals that's your passion you'll be helping animals you'll be showing other people how that helps them you'll be leading by example and slowly more people are going to come through because this really is just the start this is the beginning this is what you would call uh, the first wave but it's getting better and people are going to see it slowly but surely some quicker than others so that's what you need to do Stuart you need to forgive yourself you need to forgive your past you need to let go let go of your past you need to open your heart again when you do, you'll feel what I'm talking about. Start locally. Start in your own home. And then spread that opening up farther out. And then farther out. That's when you will feel yourself step over completely. Over into the higher dimension. Over where you want to come back. And you will turn off that TV. You'll put down the paper because you will see nothing but good from that point on because that's what you're going to attract your heart your energy your intention will only attract what it desires that is the lesson people need to learn here you get what you attract start attracting good and when you start feeling the good start attracting more and then when you get more it's like money you want more and then it might not happen all at once but it's gonna happen it will happen and then you'll be there and then you will no longer want what we get sucked into in this world all the the bad news all the material stuff it doesn't matter anymore because every time you feel better is when you want to help somebody else to feel better and then that's going to make you feel better it's 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 almost like a good cancer it's going to spread so fast it's going to grow and grow and grow but unlike a cancer it won't kill you it makes you live so this is the beginning you know your plan you step to the door just learn to close the door Thank you. Would you tell Stuart why his knees are giving him problems? What are the physical conditions? Are those doors that he needs to go through? A lot of his physical conditions are really what he kept pent up inside for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it is, is structural, but the pains that come and go so often without explanation. Well, that's that's his fear it's his he doesn't need it would you help him with that today yes and let's work on his meniscus so as he moves forward he can walk through that door with good knees Let me know you're done. I'm done. Very good. 
I want to thank you for his assistance when he asks who it is that spoke with him so beautifully. How do you describe yourself? I'm what you call God. Mm-hmm. I'm one source. I just came through a couple of channels. I just come from where it, where it starts, where all energy starts, where everything flows through at different levels, mm-hmm. down to all of these levels. But I had to draw on on the original source in order to get the right message down to Stuart and to you and others. It's just, that's where it comes from. Very good. I thank you so much. Is there anything else? Or are we complete today? Uh, we are done. Thank you so much. Wonderful, all of us. Welcome back. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was a trip. Mm. Yeah, I'm tingly. Ooh. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had God talking through you. God, really? <laughs> Shanghai, when, give me. When, when God speaks, yes. it's pretty powerful, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what. What really tingled me to where I was losing sensation in my hands, it wasn't because of the grip of the stones. Mm-hmm. It was the first part going through my family. Mm-hmm. Because that was powerful. Holy oh, yeah. crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wasn't really sure where the journey was going to go based on what you and I talked about. Because it can go anywhere. I accept that fact. Right. You know, the first part. Mm-hmm. The first, first thing that came through, the reptile thing, yes. I, I didn't feel... Now that I think back, I felt that may have been me, but that was maybe more of a symbol. Remember how I always say it was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. It was a metaphor of how neutral you felt. Yes. There was no sensation. It yes. Was, it was perfect. I, it I was saw. perfect. It was. Oh my God! I just and I was, I was realizing that as I was yeah. going through my catharsis. Yeah. That oh, that's why I saw that stupid little lizard figure. It. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't feel I necessarily was a lizard with no, funny looking it was feet. A metaphor. It was. I just felt alone and yes. I felt separate from my group and then mm-hmm. I went over the edge and I died and it's like yeah. I don't care whatever exactly this is a very 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 powerful session yeah I'm telling you I am this is not the kind of stuff that Whew. I put on YouTube you see uh, yeah mean, yeah 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 this is uh, this is something and the um, and when you started um, asking uh, you know about the uh, uh, it's going to get to the new earth. You know, yeah. it's, that itself is, you know, it's a term. It's a new age term. It's, yes. it's, what, it's the buzz term these yes. days. You but felt that it was something different. I felt, I yeah. felt it was something different because I, I, I felt what really w- was my downfall in, in my life, which was constant fear. And, and in this day and age, you, you get nothing but fear thrown right. at you 24 that's, seven because fear, program. fear pays the bills. And, yeah. You know, you don't need to be, as you said earlier, excuse me, in our session, you just block it out. You don't watch the news anymore. No, I don't watch TV. Yeah, exactly. You know, whether it's funny stuff or dancing stuff, I don't watch it because it's it's all programming. It's all judgment. Well, well that is a good point because I never thought about the funny stuff. But it's yeah, my it's all judgment on how you judge other people. Yes. So, yeah. How long do you think this was? How do you feel? How long uh, do you think the session was? Well, I know, I know the standard, the pat answer, yeah. and everything. What do you think it was? What honest, uh, honest, my honest answer is I felt um, from beginning to end like forty-five minutes. Mm-hmm. We are on two hours and thirteen minutes right now. Oh, from the time that I went here, I mean, the time in the that bed we started. Yeah, oh that we my, started, that we started talking. God, blow me away with a feather. <laughs> okay, that that even caught me off guard because I was yeah. anticipating the answers, but no, no. Uh, okay. And and what you're feeling now is the shaking. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. You, it's like being struck by lightning when you're struck, when you're struck by God. You're struck by energy lightning. You know. Uh, yeah, the, the, the last, I don't know how last when when my other mm-hmm. side came through. My I remember you asking about my higher self when that kicked in. Man, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. I I just felt. I, I couldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I felt different. Yeah. I felt like I had to get something off my chest, and I had to get a message out there. Yeah. It's like that was the message. That was the message. Like, so, whoa. do you want to share that part? 
I, I don't. I, I think the last part is yeah. good. It's a good sharing. We can we can cut out the personal oh, yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, no, the whole the whole beginning yeah. is going to be cut out. I know right? you could see. But yeah. I think this this last part I think is for the world really. Yeah, it was a message. You were you know you were being used to to give that message out. You were the representative of everybody else. But, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm yeah. totally on board but, with that. Know, the rest of the session was a hypnotherapy session. Basically. Yeah, 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 we went through a lot. Double win, by the way. Thanks, Alba. <laughs> I was I wasn't counting on part one, but part one was. Oh my God! It was that's, just as good for me. That's what's not on YouTube. Yeah, that's what most people don't see me do. Uh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was worth the price of admission right there. Yeah. I, I could have walked away happy with just wow. that. Yeah. Okay. This was amazing. You need a hug for this. Oh my this God! Was, you're no, shaking I, I gotta, so much. I gotta hug you for real. Oh. Wow! This was uh, it, it far exceeded my expectations. Mm -hmm. I mean. When, when you when you see your your videos you get a feel for it yes sorry that ain't the show the show is here <laughs> it's like whoa Especially now the, first half. the viewers the viewers are not going to see the first half of Correct. your of your session because that was very very personal right and I always tell people most of my sessions are very personal and they don't go on YouTube so even though they haven't seen it having felt this experience the forgiveness work what would you like to tell people about uh, how? It, I, it's, as I told Alba at, at the end of the session, I, I wasn't planning on the forgiveness part. I, mm -hmm. It's not why I was here. I gave you a list of questions. That's all I was planning <laughs> to drill down on. And yes. when you uh, when Alba brought up a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that was buried that yes. I never told you about. No. I, I never, I never <laughs> said a word to you about it. But I could feel in the questions when I was under hypnosis, under that part, I kind of felt we were going somewhere, but I just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so so to answer your question, um, yeah. saying I'll be just for the therapy side, no matter what that is for any individual, is mm -hmm. worth it. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. Because what we did is, uh, just to give him a little clue, we did clean up his ancestors, um, line and his whole family basically we did a lot of forgiveness work there so that wasn't planned that wasn't even part of the questions but it was necessary because it was affecting Stuart and then we got the channeling boom <laughs> <laughs> boom as they say and you, and you had complained that that a lot of the videos people talk very slowly boy you aren't talking slowly there you were it was like a machine gun well that's what i mentioned to alba when the when the session ended um i felt i couldn't shut up <laughs> when she brought in my higher self and i'm kind of a reserved person to be honest that's with the you. first thing he said i'm kind of an introvert and i said I'm well join much the introverted. i said join the club <laughs> I, it was more than four people in a room i'm uncomfortable so i'm okay with alba and the camera uh but no as soon as uh she brought in the higher self i i my ego said was saying, oh, well, we'll see what happens here. Mm. And as you said, let it happen. And when I started to talk, <laughs> I realized, okay, I'm going <laughs> to shut up back here and I'm going to blather on no matter what comes out. Oh, yeah. I don't care how crazy it sounds because it's coming out. And man, I'm telling you. It was just flowing. I, I couldn't even keep up with it because I'm going to have to to, to <laughs> plug myself in sometime yeah, I, with it. I could have had a little uh, break and gone outside for a walk. Whoa. <laughs> it was going on and on. Yeah, it was It was, it, it, it was a good, it was intense, yes. but it was so, uh, uh, comforting isn't the right word. It was, it was, uh, it was bam. It was, it was energy. It, I mean, and you can you can feel it. I mean, Stuart is shaking like a leaf. I mean, really shaking, like, and it's not cold. Well, no, I'll tell you why I'm shaking like a leaf. Because mm -hmm. when I came through at the end, yeah. I started to perspire so much yeah. with with the yeah. with the me self. Yeah, it, it was just like it ramped up my my yeah. body so yeah. fast. And then you know when it stopped, it's like. Yeah. I'm, we're in Miami, where it's probably close to 90, and I'm like starting to shiver. So. Yeah, but it was the energy. It's no. the energy. And this is how I get when I'm in these sessions, too. I, I get shaky, too, which is why I need to take breaks after my session, because I need to calm down, too. Yeah, I see why. You know what I mean? I'm like this when people leave. And I don't know how you do this on a regular basis, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> so do you recommend this to other people? I can't say it enough. I was just... I gave her the circumstances on how I wound up here, and we both reaffirmed yeah. the old saying, if it's meant to be, 
it's, it's meant, meant to be. be. And yes. I felt mine was meant to be for mm -hmm. me personally. And I, and I think what came through. Yeah. And so, yes, if you can get a session with Alba, no matter where you live, I would highly recommend taking her up on it. Thank you very much. So if you want a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com, click on hypnosis, click on newsletter, sign up. And when it comes out once a month, click on those links. Thank you for watching. Bye. My new best friend. Uh.